Okay, so another uh, boat and a river kind of problem. Uh, we're going through, maybe the river gets a little shallow or a little narrower through a little region here. And so a little faster flow. And this boat is wondering, uh, can we make it through there? Uh, in other words, can we get positive velocity um, upstream through this channel here? So again, let's consider upstream as positive and the river is flowing downstream like this. Um, again, it's a bit of a higher flow rate in that area there. So what we can look at is we can say that the uh, boat relative to the water, um, we have some information about that. And so why don't we say the velocity of the boat relative to water and then we're going to be adding that to the velocity of the water relative to shore. Uh, hard to compare those quite yet. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just kind of start figuring out some of these variables here. The water relative to the shore, uh, that's fairly straightforward. It's a 22 and it's actually going to be a negative 22 uh, going downstream. And then the velocity of the boat relative to the water we're told is 30 kilometers per hour and units don't align so let's uh, fix that um, 1000 meters per kilometer and one hour per 3600 seconds A little dimensional analysis here let's double check that we got it right kilometers cancel out good uh, hours cancel out good and we're left with meters and seconds okay perfect so that comes out as 8.3 meters per second okay and we'll consider that positive because we are going to aim it upstream now uh, so that means that the vector that we drew already is the 8.3 and the velocity of the water relative to shore is minus 22 so if we were to add them, this is going to come way down here. Velocity of the water relative to the shore. So our resultant, in other words, the velocity of the kayak relative to shore is equal to the, um, well, I guess boat relative to shore, we're not in a kayak anymore, is equal to the velocity of the boat relative to water plus the velocity of the water relative to shore. And so we can put those in 8.3 meters per second, positive. And we're going to subtract the 22 meters per second. Now we could write that as a plus a negative 22. Either way is perfectly fine. Um, and we come up with a negative 13.7 meters per second. So what does that tell us? Let's go back to our diagram. Um, remember that our resultant goes from our starting point to our ending point. So it looks like this. So that's our velocity of the boat relative to shore. So if that boat pulled into that channel and gunder, um, you know, at the maximum, which 30 kilometers per hour, which it would be in still water, it would be heading backwards. In other words, it would not be able to make it up that channel. And we're able to verify that using our vector diagram or vector equation here. And it also makes total sense with our vector diagram. So good to double check.